I mean, I was doing a lot. I was, I was kind of doing everything when I started, from running to ADing to art department to becoming a spark to then becoming a loader, trainee loader. I was focus pulling for a while. All at the same time, I was shooting my own stuff, from short films to music videos to whatnot. And then um, my first break, uh, well, after film school, I, I shot corporate videos for a company, which was very painful, not what I wanted to do, but it kind of, you know, uh, it was a part of the career path, I guess. And uh, it was very beneficial, you know, I was holding a camera every single day. It was very, it actually, it taught me a lot, so it was, I always see it as a good thing. Um, and I eventually made it into shooting second unit or operating um, third camera as a daily, until one day I um, <laughs> interviewed for a job. At the time I was living in Leeds, so up north, and, and, a, and a company came up north to shoot a, uh, uh, a spin-off of Spooks, which was a very popular show back then. And uh, they, they wanted to meet some locals, um, for potential roles. Um, and so I, I went to see the producers and we had a sit down and I said, and, and I said look guys, I'll do anything. I'll operate the third camera, I'll do the second unit, whatever you need, I'll do. I'm quite, I love working. And at the end of that chat, I handed them a DVD with my showreel, which was obviously just a bunch of low budget stuff and said, look, but I really want to shoot stuff. I know I have no experience in your eyes. I have no name for myself, um, but this is what I want to do. And two weeks later, I had a phone call saying, look, we watched your stuff, we really like a reel. We showed it to the director, and we're going to take a chance with you. And they offered me that job. And that was my first gig as a, as a main DP on a, on, a, on a slightly bigger show. And then from then on, it just, uh, you know, I didn't mess it up, <laughs> thankfully. And uh, it just, you know, it just gradually became, I guess, you know, bigger, not necessarily better, but bigger. Then ended up doing Sherlock years later, not because the director knew me, but because I was recommended by the producer to the, to the producer and um, by another producer. And um, I got that job and then Sherlock became a stepping stone for Game of Thrones because David and Dan love Game of uh, love Sherlock, and they saw my episode of Scandal in the Graveyard, and so they said, "Let's get this guy." And they called me up and said, "Do you want to come and shoot this?" And then from Game of Thrones, I got Justice League because Zack Snyder loves Game of Thrones, and he loved my episodes, and that's how it was. So they're actually very simple things that I had nothing to do with, apart from not, not messing it up. <laughs> be honest to yourself. Be true to yourself. Stay who you are, don't pretend to be anything else, just do your thing. And, you know, there's a lot of luck involved, but I believe in that you make your own luck as well. You know, so I put a lot of work into it, but at the same time, I also had the generosity of a lot of people coming to me to, or supporting me, you know, and, and, and I think a combination of that. I don't think I would have done anything differently because I've done all these things for a reason. You know, earlier in the panel, I was saying that I shot loads of shit. I've shot so much shit in my life, especially early on. And I've shot stuff where peers from my film school, they turn up their noses and said, I'm not gonna do that, because that's, that's above me. And I never felt that way. I always, I always, I did it because I thought, you know, I'm gonna learn something there. No matter how bad it is, I'm gonna learn something. Or I'm gonna meet someone who's gonna help me or someone I'm gonna get on with, or... Basically, I think there is good stuff to be taken out of everything, no matter how bad it might be. And that was always my attitude. And so I can't honestly say that, yes, there's a few things I look back at thinking, my God, <clears throat> you know, but honestly, even the worst one of those, maybe I met someone that I got on really well with who became a friend Maybe I had a great time on it. Maybe I shot a couple of frames that were really good. The rest was rubbish, but I always took something with me and I really can't say that I would do anything differently.